Hello everyone and welcome to Ukulele on the Ground, Songs Made Easy. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I'm going to be your instructor for today and we're going to be learning a song called Aloha Friday. So this is a very classic song here on the islands. Um, we pretty much share this song, you know, on the radio every Friday, driving home from work. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's classic and it's, it's got that nice line of, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. So a lot of people use that as kind of a philosophy and, you know, for, for their weekends and almost like a way of life, you know, like you work, you work for the weekends basically is what, you know, is what it is. And you, on the weekends, you're like, you know, I don't even want to think about work. I don't even want to, you know, I don't even want to deal with that. That can wait till Monday. Right now it's a low Friday. I'm coming home. I'm going to enjoy myself this weekend. And also this, uh, this song is in the key of G. So it kind of helps us get used to our uh, our chords in the key of G. So like G, we have a G7 in there, we have C and D7. So there's going to be four chords that we're going to learn for today and uh, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you folks and teach you guys how to switch between each chord, all right? So let's get started. I want to show you guys how the song sounds like and it sounds something like this. Sit all cloudy and blitz with my premium bottles lying everywhere. Got a guitar in my hand and a Wesson oil can under my ukulele for a chair. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Do do be do 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 do. All right, so that chorus. Very, very, very iconic, and you're going to hear that. Most people just pretty much know the chorus, like 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 me. I just knew the chorus. I didn't really know that they were talking about primo uh, primo bottles and, and Western oil cans. But it's really cool because it gives us a glimpse of uh, you know what a typical like working person at the end of the weekend here in uh, in Hawaii you know will uh, will will undergo. Like a lot of people just kind of go and drink their troubles away, and this is what that song is uh, is talking about. All right, so here we go. We're going to show you the chords right now. Your, uh, your first chord that you're going to learn for today is going to be a G chord. So your corner finger will be in the C string, second fret. Ring finger, E string, third. Middle finger, A string, second fret. So a couple of tips. Um, you might want to swing your wrist a little bit towards the headstock if, you know, if you're having a hard time fitting all those, you know, all those fingers into a very tiny spot. Um, I've mentioned this before, but if you need a visual onto what a G chord looks like, I like to think of a cup, you know, so this is like, this is like a cup. There's something that I can put in the middle of that cup. So it's like a, uh, um, a cup with no, uh, with no handle. <laughs> like this. Okay. I like to use my thumb and put it up here so that I get a nice grip on the ukulele. You can put your thumb in the back if you want to, but for the most part, I just like to uh, keep the thumb relaxed right up there and making sure my pointer, middle, ring finger are holding those notes just right. Okay. The next thing that we have here is a D7, which is basically just like your G chord, but you're going to take out your ring finger and you're only going to be using these two. This is called a Hawaiian D7 and it's going to be your pointer finger, G string, second fret, and uh, middle finger on the E string, second fret like this. So remember like how you did your G? So imagine if, you know, the cup just had one side. So this is the entire cup right here. So this is like kind of U shape, almost like a U. You're gonna take off this ring finger and you're gonna bring it up one string. Okay, so it's from this G to that D7. So that's like a good little switch. And a lot of people get confused because, you know, in order to uh, get to the D7, um, you know, when we do our tutorials, I tend to like tuck my ring finger down here. So some people might think I'm playing the A string second fret or like I'm doing something here with my ring finger, but it's actually not. I like to tuck in my, you know, my ring finger down here so that I don't, you know, I don't kind of hover too much because if I take my ring finger, place it over, I might run into the hazard of having it touch any of the other strings. So rest assured, I'm only playing these two notes right here with my fingers 
So my ring finger is actually not doing anything. It's like we're just tuck it away. <laughs> so even then, even if I tuck it away, it kind of looks like I'm holding it, so doing something on the A string there. But it's like this. So if we were to look at it from a side view, so this is what the G would look like. That's my cup right there. And then to the D7. See like how my ring finger is hovering? But notice that I just took my ring finger out and then lifted it one string. Next up we have a C chord. Nice and simple ring finger will then go on the A string third fret. Which goes nicely when you play your G chord because it's just letting everything go but keeping that ring finger, placing it on the A string 3rd fret. It's almost like the reverse of a D7. In a D7, you let go of your ring finger and bring those two up. This one, you let go of your, uh, you keep your ring finger, let go of everything else, and you put it down. So it's the opposite of what you would be doing with G to D7, G to C. You take off your pointer and middle finger and go down a string. This one, you take out your ring finger, you go up a string to the D7, okay? Now, uh, next up we have uh, G7. So the G7, it's going to be the opposite of your, uh, of your G chord. So imagine this cup right here, but this cup is now upside down so that the, uh, the place where you kind of put it is underneath here. See like, there, this is the uh, this is the spot that you can put like water inside or whatever you want, coffee, whatever you want to drink. It is now like this, or some uh, some people might want to say it's like a it's like a triangle. Some people you know uh, imagine a triangle. So if you take your middle finger, place it on the C string second fret, corner finger E string first fret, ring finger A string second fret, like so. Same thing. I'm gonna uh, take my wrist and I'm just gonna swing it around so that I can fit all. My chubby little fingers on those strings. So going from G to G7 is going to be a little bit tricky. So what I like to think is I'm taking my middle finger out and I'm just putting it on the... Um, imagine if I put it on top of my ring finger like this. It's like I'm keeping these two fingers, okay? So taking my middle finger and putting it above the pointer and the ring finger. And then I'm gonna shift it down one string and one fret back. So it goes like this, G to a G7. Notice that these two fingers didn't really change too much. It's just this, see that? So from here, from the G, from here, in my middle finger up and over both. So like this to this. Take a very long look at my pointer and ring finger. Pretty much stays the same. It's just my middle finger will either go down here for the G or up here for the G7. Down here for the G here for the G7. Okay, so let's take a, uh, take a look at the song. If you guys have uh, signed up for our newsletter, you guys should have received this uh, or a link to, you know, to download this uh, Songs Made Easy page. You guys can print out and uh, create yourself a nice little Songs Made Easy folder that you guys can, um, that you guys can take out anywhere with you folks. Now, if you're taking a look at that, um, let's take a look at the verse. So the verse, it goes from G, and it goes to a G7. So we've already talked about that that little change. Going from this, we're just changing our middle finger so that it goes on top. So from G, and then to the C. All you're doing is taking off your pointer and middle finger, sliding that ring finger to the A string third fret for your C. And we talked about how to get back to the G. So like, let this go. Put your uh, put your two fingers down, and then put your ring finger down. Okay. So for the G, and then it goes to the D seven. We talked about that as well. And back to the G, and then G seven. And we talked about going to the C, and back to the G, D seven, then G. 
Yeah. So you you kind of didn't mention that this is you already moved to the chorus. Oh yeah. Part. I'm just kind of following like the next 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 next. Yeah. Next, so next, so yeah. that first part you did was the verse, and yeah. then you moved straight into the chorus. To the G. Yeah. So I'm just kind of following the uh, the chords as they kind of go along in sequence. So let's take a look at from the top. It was G to G seven. So we talk about those you know those changes, and then to the C. And I'm starting with the changes. Not so much the uh, the structure or anything yet. And then back to G, and then we're in the D seven. So from G to D seven, just letting go of your ring finger, placing those two fingers up, and then back to your G, putting those two fingers down, putting that ring finger back, and then G to G seven, which then leads us to the chorus, which is C from there, which then goes back to the G. And it goes to the D7 and then G. So we pretty much covered all the different chord switches that we're gonna take. So that was, you know, that's what we were trying to do. We were trying, you know, want to explain to you folks how to get from one chord to the other. Now let's take a look at the structure, you know, of the song. So the structure of the song, the verse goes like this: We are in G, and we're hitting that chord for four strums. And strum is going to be just a single down strum. So one two three four so if you're to count one and two three four nice consistent and even you know even notes one two three four you're not doing any you know you're not uh playing one faster than the others or slower than the others just one two three four now we're gonna chord switch to the g7 one two so just two strums and then to the C for four strums. One, two, three, four. So let's try that again from the G, G7 to C. One, two, ready, G. One, two, three, G7. Then to C. Two, three, four. And then it goes to a G for two strums. And then to the D7. And G, two strums again. So two strums on G, two strums on D7, and then two strums on G, and then two strums on G7. So one more time, G, D7, G, G7. Okay, and that leads us to the chorus, and the chorus is C four times. So one, two. Three, four, then G four times. One, two, three, four, and then D seven. Two, three, four, and then back to G. And do you see right there? It's either G or D seven. It's actually G seven or D seven. So D seven would uh you know would bring you back to the verse, and a G seven would bring you back to the chorus. And this is how it works. So from the C in the chorus, the first C, one or the only C, two. Ready? No Aloha Friday. No work till Monday. I'm gonna go back to the chorus. Do 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 G7. It's Aloha Friday. No work till Monday. Do 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 do. Then D7 to go back to the verse. If you just follow the chord changes on your sheet, you should be golden, you know? Um, there's just four chords. We now gone over how to switch between all of them. You now uh, have access to uh, what they, uh, you know, what chords are going to be coming up next. And if you're not signed up for the newsletter, you can sign up right now and um, you will get a, uh, you will get a link to where you can download that. You can take a look at it. So if you're visual learners, you want to see how this is, uh, how this is structured. You can check that out and play along with us, okay? So, as always, if you miss a chord, don't worry about it. This is, you know, this song's made easy. 
not like um you know not songs that I'm gonna get like on my uh, on my first try, but songs you know made easy, not just easy songs. So we've made we've taken these songs and made them even easier so that it's easier for you to learn them. But the the main thing is that you're still learning. So give yourself, you know, a little bit of leeway if you can't, you know, if you can't play a certain chord just yet, if you can't do a certain chord switch, take it easy on yourself. Don't be so hard. Um, and <clears throat> excuse me, just, you know, just skip and move on to the next chord. If you can just uh, maybe just play a Z chord on that. So if you're going, it's a little Friday from G, it's, and you can't quite do the G7 yet, you can do, it's a little Friday. So I just kind of take my... Uh, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Do, do, do. You know, you can do that if you want. All right. Now let's uh, let's play it together. Here we go. Let's uh, for our intro, maybe let's just do G and then D7, G and D7. So two strums in G, two strums in D7, two strums in D, two strums in D7. Here we go. Ready? One, two, intro. Go! Here is where I sit, all cloudy and blitz, with my primo bottles lying everywhere. Got a guitar in my hand and an western oil can, under my okole for a chair. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. My cousins all here drinking up my beer Got cakes running everywhere Got some poke on the side While mama's trying to hide The Miller and the Heineken beer G7 It's Aloha Friday No work till Monday a do boo do boo do boo do boo do boo do G7 Kimo in the crew sucking up the brew Pulehu meat smoking on the side All surfers are dropping by high school kids are popping cola cola for a ride G7 It's Aloha Friday No work till Monday G7 G7 It's Aloha Friday No work till Monday Alright, so that was a song called Aloha Friday. Um, if you guys have any questions, we are live on the chat right now. Ask your question, you know, ask away. Um, and while we're waiting for your questions, or if you have any even, um, I just want to go over the song real quick, just to, you know, just to kind of wrap things up and then we'll play it again. Okay? So, um, as far as G goes, it's those, you know, it's those three notes. Alright? So, pointer, middle, ring finger, like this, just like in a cup. Um, you can swing your uh, your wrist to the side so that like uh, what I like to call as you know as um rainbows or this nice little arch you know this arch of my corner finger is hitting all those. Make sure that you're not hitting any other notes or touching any other strings than uh, than what you're supposed to be touching. So it doesn't sound like this. Or uh, make sure that you're putting the right amount of pressure on them. So not too much. So I'm not pinching the back with my thumb and, you know, making sure that I'm holding that as tight as I can. No, it doesn't have to be as tight as, uh, as you can. It just has to be enough pressure to, uh, to play those notes. Okay? So that's why I said my thumb was up here just relaxing. It's not, like, you know, trying to force its way so that I play that G. G7, same thing. Middle finger just going up. C from there. Nice, just slide over from the G7. G and then D7. It's just the same thing as a G, except without your ring finger and two, uh, one, oh, sorry, <laughs> those two fingers going up one string. Okay, so now let's play it again. Any questions that we got? No one, you know? Um, 
I don't see if, why anyone would have any questions. It's pretty straightforward, but if you do, we would love to, you know, we'd love to hear it and so we can uh, we can answer. We don't want there to be any confusion or anything like that. So let us know. And uh, even after this uh, this thing ends, uh, check us out at ukuleleunderground.com and ask us whatever question that you may have regarding this song or any of the other songs. So so it's not a question, but Mac sure. Awesome said, uh, thanks, this was fun. Uh, uh, the finger explanation, camera angle was very helpful in the oh. beginning. Glad to see bent wrist is okay. For some reason, was wondering about that. Yeah, well, um, you know, bent uh, bent wrist is uh, is totally is totally fine. You don't want it like bent too much. You know, you don't want to hurt yourself. But at the same time, you don't want it to just be straight right here. And then you know, and then you're playing uh, you're playing your ukulele because that would mean that you're bringing your uh, you know your your uh, your elbow all the way back here. You can bend your wrist and bending your wrist. Actually, it gives you a little bit more, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, leverage so that you can uh, you can touch it with the tip of your fingers. When you're doing, you know, when you're doing this with a straight wrist, you're uh, you're going more with the pad of your fingers, okay? Because it's gonna hit that kind of angle. So it's a uh, it's a little bit better to get a little bit of angle, not too much, a little bit of angle on the wrist. So it allows you to get better arches, you know, on the on the fingers and uh, better kind of like rainbows that you know, I was talking about before. And uh, so that you're getting a nice consistent, uh, consistent tone and a, uh, you know, you're consistently hitting those notes clean. I think, um, but uh, it's like he said, like, you don't want to do it too much. Yeah. Because we also see people who, who are like, like this. Yeah. yeah. Who put kind of like push their hands mm -hmm. forward. Yeah. And in that situation too, if you're still like, if you feel like you're bending your wrist and you're mm -hmm. kind of having trouble, you might want to try the swinging your wrist, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like swinging it like this way so that you can fit more fingers in in tiny spaces. So that's why I explain it that way. But with you know with this uh, with this wrist bend, it's just a little bit, right? So it's not super exaggerated, but it's just enough so that you get a little bit of leverage because when you push it forward and bend it, you know, bend that uh, bend that wrist a little bit. Notice that it raises my um, raises my fingers, and that's what I mean by you get leverage because it's gonna go higher, and this arch goes higher, meaning you're um you know you're pinpointing that uh, that string in that fret a lot cleaner, so it's more accurate. Okay, so just a little bit because you don't want it to be too much, and it's gonna hurt your wrist and stuff. So just just enough to get enough leverage to play those notes clean. I think when people put too much to, that's when people feel like oh I fumble around and yeah, I can't yeah. get to the chords mm -hmm, cleanly mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's because like you you have too much fingers in yeah in and I do switch. I do see a lot of people like fully resting their you know their necks on their you know on their palm when you rest on you know on your palm then uh, then you're not gonna get this kind of clean uh you know arches that we're talking about to get those clean arches make sure that you know like that uh, your your thumb is resting up here but not like fully, you know, like grasping it with your palm. You can grasp it with the pillow. I, I refer to this part of, of my hand as the pillow because your neck kind of rests on the pillow. So it's not on my palm. It's just on this pillow right here. So if we were to uh, show it from closer angle like this. So not like this with the palm. So where it's, you know, it's on the palm of my hands. It's on this, this part of our, you know, of our hand or this kind of soft, part of our uh, of our hand right here and that goes you know down here which you can then play your chords okay and um if you want you can even use your thumb to uh to let off the pressure off the pillow like this so you can see it from this side maybe like that I'll tilt it a little bit so you can see oh no the wrong way I tilted it you can see it there it is so you can go from this where you're like kind of you know resting on the uh, on the pillow and you're playing that chord, or you can use your thumb. Just play a little bit. So I'm not like uh, I'm not pushing it forward. Remember I said I was kind of relaxing it. So here's the thumb from this angle. Oh, uh, there. Okay. Just keeping it stable. All right. Yeah, I think so. the 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 pillow uh mm. is helpful for beginners too, because that's another thing that beginners use their thumb like mm -hmm. to do kind of pinches, 
yeah and that's and where they say oh it's fatigue. unstable yeah. or like or like when i'm trying to switch chords because mm. i'm using my thumb so mm. much the ukulele feels like it's falling down yeah, yeah. and it's like just using your pillow mm. it makes it so it's like mm. always there and uh you know i use my thumb up here and just kind of relax it i i make some like a uh, little bit of a hook so that hook kind of goes on top of my ukulele like this and that what that allows me is you know it allows my my wrist to kind of just swing you know as much as i have to like up on my uh, you know on my ukulele or my neck and fretboard okay so with you know with this kind of hook technique with the uh, you know with the thumb you're not getting fatigue because you're pu you know pushing back too much on the uh, you know on the neck but you're you know you're getting this nice movement and loose wrist on the left hand as well so loose wrist right and left hand with that with the ukulele all right so I'm glad that was a great question. You know, I'm glad someone someone asked that question. Here we go. Uh, is there any more? Um, so that yeah, there's there's some people who are asking questions about other things. <laughs> uh, we always like to say like uh, if you have questions, ask them for like live lesson, like other yeah. topics. Mm. You know, like if you wanna. And if uh, if yeah. you don't have UU Plus and you can't watch you know live lessons, um, you can email us uh, over at Ukulele Underground. Uh, you can email us there. Oh, here's the, uh, here's all the stuff, all the places you can, uh, you can reach us. So there it is. You can click that button on Ukulele Underground. You should be able to reach us. You can ask us questions there. Okay. Or if you don't have uh, UU Plus, you can just email us at oh. questions at Ukulele yeah. Underground. Questions at Ukulele Underground. Or you can sign up for UU Plus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> all right. So let's play the song one more time. But uh, thank you folks for watching. Here we go. It's a little Friday. Um... No work till Monday. <laughs> ready, so intro G D seven G D seven. One, two, ready, go, G D seven G D seven. Here is where I sit all cloudy and blitz with my primo bottles lying everywhere. Got a hook in my hand and a Western oil can under my ukulele for a chair. G seven. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. D7, my cousin's all here drinking up my beer, got cakes running everywhere. Got some poke on the side while mama's trying to hide the Miller and the Heineken beer. G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. D7, D7 again. Chemo and the crew, sucking up the brew, people who meet smoking on the side. All surfers are dropping by, a high school kids are popping down Kaba Kaba for a ride. <laughs> G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. G7, it's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. D7. And all right, so that was a song called Aloha Friday. Nice and simple. It gets you used to those G chords. I know last time we were also looking at you know uh at the keys uh, the key of G. So using this song, the song from last week, and using some of the previous ones that we've had here on uh, Ukulele on the Ground songs made easy. You should be able to get used to the G chords and and all the other shapes around it like g c d7 g7 i think we had e minor on that last one i think we have b minor as well and, uh, and uh, an a minor so all those chords are now at your fingertips and if you if you have not checked out the previous um songs made easy on you know previous months and stuff you can totally totally check it out right last week's was wagon wheel That's yeah wagon wheel so yeah. in g and so we had g d e minor and, uh, and C. So those mm -hmm. chords, you know, those chords are there. So if you combine those chords with the chords you learned today with G, G7, and then D7, uh, you have a lot of the chords necessary in order to play in the key of G. So you might not know what that means just yet, but uh, rest assured that if someone says, let's play in the key of G, 
you're going to know most of those chords, all right, that, that they're going to be shouting out. So it's good to, uh, to kind of do this. Um, I think the previous months we worked a lot on the key of C. So, um, you know, if you guys have been following us for a long time, C, we've, uh, we've covered a lot as well. And if you're a beginner, you want to check those out. Those are always in our archives. You can check them out as well. All right. So where can, uh, where can they find the news, uh, the newsletter or to sign up for the newsletter so they get all these song sheets? Kahai? It should be right underneath. It like should it's be, a link right underneath. Yeah. It should be right underneath. So if you check out the, um, I guess the description of this, yep. you know, of this video, check out the description of this video. There's a link there. You can sign up for that and you get the newsletter. And what that does is it gives you all of these, uh, you know, all these song sheets that we have. We, we have the, um, song sheets that we've made. Onto PDF, you guys can print them out. If you want a physical copy, I tell people that, you know, print them out and then get like a nice little binder and just fill that binder up with all these songs. Um, and a suggestion that someone made, uh, you know, on top of that was, uh, put the, uh, the, the chord sheets, you know, on the side, on the left side and on the right side, put the, uh, you know, put the lyrics and then, um, do, you know, do the same thing for, you know, for all the songs so that you have access to the chords. How to play those chords. And if you want to sing, you know, sing that song, you have like lyrics on the, on the right side. And you can find the lyrics pretty much anywhere if you just Google, you know, like, uh, Aloha Friday lyrics and you'll, you know, you'll have it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, those are all great ideas. If you, uh, if you want to sign up for a newsletter, you get all these songs early. So you can kind of take a look at them first before, you know, heading out to our, uh, oh, to attend our class. Mm -hmm. So this is a, so this is a nice little easy kind of uh, beginner class. So uh, for those of you folks who are just starting out the ukulele, these are perfect lessons for you guys. All right. So make sure you check out the rest. Um, as a, as a PSA, as a public service announcement, we are not going to be here tomorrow for the Lower Friday Live Jam. So for those of you folks who uh, who who follow Lower Friday Live Jams, we're not going to be here. And for those of you folks who are UU Plus subscribers who have signed up for the private lesson for tomorrow, that's going to be canceled as well because there is a hurricane coming our way. Hurricane Lane um, is, uh, is scheduled to hit Kauai uh, tomorrow, uh, either you know, tomorrow afternoon, evening. It just depends on how fast this storm is going to be coming uh, coming at us. But it seems like the predicted time or the forecasted time is going to be tomorrow or Saturday. I thought, yeah, I thought Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Yeah, it's slow. It's slowed down. But I think uh. tomorrow um, it might hit Oahu. So mm. if it's going to hit Oahu, we're going to get a lot of rain. You know, the hurricane might not be here, but we're going to be hit with some severe weather conditions, right? And I've been hurry hearing those uh, those buzzwords like, <laughs> severe weather conditions and you know like forecasts and, yeah. Yeah. For, i think forecast is <laughs> a regular just, weather <laughs> or low weather pressure report. systems you know it's like <laughs> so we've been now we've been cloudy. Hearing all those cloudy thunderstorms <laughs> you know we're in good spirits so we'll you know we'll be uh we'll be fine um i do uh advise all of you folks who are living in hawaii to uh to take the uh, you know the safety precautions and um and check out all the uh, emergency websites that that you can in order to be prepared for uh, you know for the hurricane because who knows you know what I mean like anything can happen uh mm -hmm. back in Iniki we were all here and we saw the devastation so we know all too well uh what kind of destruction um you know terrible hurricanes can cause so just uh, just be safe and uh, everybody have a great one okay we'll yeah. see you guys um coming Hopefully. up next we have the one on one. Uh, coaching for all of you plus subscribers and if not hopefully we'll be back by next week um but you know if if not we'll let you folks know over you know on our website or if you follow us on facebook instagram twitter all that good stuff we'll uh we'll probably put it up there as well mainly facebook so if you guys follow us on facebook if you like our page um we will give you some updates on uh, when will we uh when we will be back all right if if we are back next week, that's uh, actually the jam, right? Yeah. For songs made for easy. songs made easy, we will have so. the jam next week, which means a collection of all the songs that we learned this month. We will be jamming it at you know on Thursday next week. All yeah. right. So uh, without further ado, we'll see you folks next time. Have a great one. Aloha.